Well, I'm a theorist, right? So I like to look out into the universe and think about what were the, what was the underlying physics or like the underlying processes which produced these sorts of objects that we're observing through our telescopes. So my paper is about how galaxies control their star formation. What, what controls that process on a galactic scale. And I think the real takeaway from this work, what actually sets the overall star formation in galaxies is really this connection between galaxies and their surrounding atmospheres. If this regulation weren't taking place, then you would you would be producing galaxies, especially small, like low mass dwarf galaxies, which which would have hundreds, if not thousands, of times more stars than what we actually observe in real galaxies. This has been a really real problem in the field of galaxy formation of what actually regulates the star formation in these systems in order that we don't sort of get this, uh, what's often called in the field, this cooling catastrophe of rampant star formation that produces these overly uh, bulgy spherical systems which have way too many stars than the galaxies we see out in the real universe. And so for this work, it really involved taking something as complex as a galaxy and trying to break it down into its most simplest parts to, to really see how, how this simple model can work in that more uh, advanced and complex context. When I was like looking at schools, I, uh, I think Columbia sort of offered you know, all of these incredible resources, you know, being, being in the city, being part of like the New York astronomy ecosystem of you have Columbia, you have CUNY, you have NYU, you have AMMH, you have the Center for Computational Astrophysics through the Flatiron Institute. Uh, I think it was, you, it's sort of quickly becoming the, the, the new nexus for astronomy. And I, I feel like it wasn't, it, it wasn't an opportunity I, I couldn't pass up. And so I have a, an informal goal, which is to attend every jazz club in Manhattan at least once. And it's, that's surprisingly more doable than you might suspect. It's a great opportunity to really engage with the history of the city and to really like enmesh yourself in, in the great culture of, of blues and jazz in, in Harlem or in uh, lower Manhattan. I, I think the opportunities try to uh, engage the culture like firsthand and and the history of the of the neighborhoods that I live in.